Northwest Central Conference Clash. A pair of three win teams meeting up here in week five. Rivals Perry and Waynesfield Goshen trying to stay on top of the NWCC here in the second week of league action. And Dan Baker's team up 14 0. That's the Commodores at halftime. Third quarter, Waynesfield's Cooper Roberts to Jordan Miller. Nice 10 yard pickup here, but just short of a first down. Then it's Kyle Searson. Tough running for first down yardage, but watch Ryan Yinks reach in for Perry and rip the football free. Commodores recover on their own 36 yard line. Then it's Nylon Cannon. We had Cannon Johnson for Spencer. We had Nylon Cannon for Perry, blasting off for 13 yards near midfield. Then Louis Hurston gets it to Chaz Jackson. First down yardage. They march inside the 40 of the Tigers, trying to go up three scores. Fourth down, though, trouble. Tigers stripped the ball free from Hurston. Blake Barnes would fall on it, and Waynesfield Goshen is in business, but that Perry defense is so tough. Kevin Collier, look at the tackle here. Can't get any yardage. Then Roberts on third and long, has to tuck and run, does pick up three, but they would have to punt. They punted all the way inside the five, but Perry starts a long drive. Nylon Cannon, first down yardage, out to the 19-yard line. Then Hurston to Shane Overly. Nice jump pass, first down at the 34. More from Cannon. Skips it outside, and watch this move. <laughs> Look out, <laughs> 41 yards, finally knocked down at the 25. A couple plays later, it's fourth and five. Perry's going for it from the 20. Hurston has some time, finds Overly. 20 yard touchdown for Perry. That makes it 21 nothing. They tack on a couple more scores. Commodores go on the road and get a win. They're four and one on the season, 38 nothing. Perry has moved up to division six this year. They're in that tough region 24, so they need all the wins they can get to get those playoff points.